After being hard stuck ascendant again, I decided why not try some aim training. So I decided to use the best aim routine in Valorant to see if I can climb my way back out of ascendant. This is of course the Demon 1 aim routine. This aim routine consists of 5 tasks in aim labs, shooting bots in the range, and then trash talking FNS. You don't want to be working like FNS, spraying like this, whiffing every bullet. Have you seen FNS's stats? That's what happens when you spray. On day one, I started out in aim labs. I know Demon1 said that he spends a lot of time in the range, but I really only did about 10 seconds in the range, and then did a deathmatch instead. In the actual games of day one, I didn't really do that good, and I also noticed that I was spraying. You don't want to be working like FNS, spraying like this, whiffing every bullet. But it's safe to say that day one didn't really go that well. Day two, I actually started out by making some G Fuel. Did you think I was gonna say Aim Labs? No. I wanted to try something different today. I wanted to see if G Fuel would actually make me play better. By the way, if you didn't know, you can use code Tiebreaker for 20% off G Fuel. But right after that, I went into Aim Labs. I don't know if it was the G Fuel or if it was just the Aim Training, but on day two, I was hitting every shot. Nice. Oh my god, you're crazy, bro. I even got a compliment from a European booster. Oh, yo, yo, you're very nice, brother. He doesn't know you, you're like scream. One tapping shit. I think it should be a requirement for every Instalock jet to do this aim routine because my Instalock jets always look like this. Let's play. Day three started out with aim labs again, but I'm really not sure what was happening after that. Day 3 just felt really inconsistent. Some rounds I was hitting every shot, and other rounds I had the aim of a silver. <laughs> but for most of the day, I just got carried. Day 4 started out on aim labs, yet again, but for some reason the whole day, my aim felt really off. It might be because I didn't have my G fuel, but who knows. But I also feel like I was just getting really unlucky the whole day. Nice, nice. I'm blind! What? Fuck! Jets on the wall! Oh, he's, he's cheating, he's cheating, he's cheating! You don't want to be working like FNS, spraying like this, whiffing every bullet. I went into day 5 trying to completely forget about the day before, and that started with making some G Fuel and then going into aim labs again. The first game of day 5 didn't really go that well. My whole team was complaining, trying to FF, and we ended the first half down 3-9. We somehow made a comeback and won every round on defense, ending the game 13-9. This is why we never, never FF y'all. Luckily, the next few games, I did much better. Day 6 started with even more aim labs, and then I went into the range and shot some bots. But then I got bored of that, so instead, I did a deathmatch, which went well. I only played one game on day 6, and in that game, we had no initiator and double smokes, and neither Brim or Omen would talk. So a lot of the time, there would just be random smokes placed everywhere, or double smokes in the same spot. The beginning of that game, I could not hit a shot for some reason. Nice shots right now. But as the game went on, I was able to hit more shots.
Now on to day 7, the final day. And of course, it started with aimlabs. And then the range. But of course, not for too long. And then finally, doing a deathmatch. And after all of that, I was finally ready to play the last two games of the seven days. The first game of day seven, we were against a team of five duelists. Even though I was spraying a lot, my aim still felt really good. There's three. Oh, all three, all three, all three. Nice. Short, 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 short. I have a nice. Uh, it's a fucking round, bro. It's on back side. For going against a team of five duelists, that game was way too close. And finally, the last game did not go very well actually. Everybody insta-locked, nobody talked, and whenever somebody did talk, nobody would listen. It just wasn't a game to win. On top of that, we were going against a smurf, or somebody having the game of their life. Other than one round, it was not a good game. Getting closer towards the end of this game, it just did not seem like it was winnable, so I stopped trying. Yeah, that wasn't a fun game. But for the first time in almost two months, I ended a week up in RR from where I started. So will I continue using this aim routine as my warm-up? Yes, I will. I know this video only covered a week, but the longer you do it, the better results you will see. 